We're going to expand on the TD tool idea and create a shooting system. We're going to define some shooters who are going to shoot bullets. Those bullets are going to hit collision environment objects. And those are going to create dust. And we're going to set this up and turn it into a TD tool so that we can just hand it off to users to use in a scene. We're going to go ahead and create some collision environment objects. We'll just create some cylinders. And these would be the things that deflect bullets or get hit by bullets and create some dust. We'll go ahead and create a couple of shooters out here. And these shooters, we actually want to turn them into axis tripods so we can see their y-axis. And we'll move this up there. And we're going to go ahead and animate them a little bit. I we'll have this one run across here. We'll have this guy come up here, do that. Have that run over there and then finally have him come over here. Okay, so we're just going to go ahead and set this up in TP and then we'll look at how we can turn it into a TD tool afterward. Uh, we just want to lay in the ground logic th so that we can uh, make sure it works. We're going to call this shooter system. Shooter system will create a rule here on for born <coughs> And we know that we're going to want to have some shooters, so we'll create a group for them. And then we're going to want a group for the bullets, so we'll create one for them. We're going to have one for the collision environment, who gets hit by the bullets. And those collision environment are going to create dust, so we'll create that. Let's go through and color these so we can see them easily. Okay, so what we're going to do is we're going to use an object particle, and we'll pick these two uh, points here. And instead of having to modify which group they're in all the time, we're going to go ahead and force them by using a, a group operator. We'll just say we want them to be in the shooter group. And then we're going to take this object particle, and we're going to rename it to shooters. And you'll see why in a little bit. Okay, so we've got shooters set up in the group. Let's go ahead and just select all this hold control and shift and duplicate it. And we're going to name this collision environment. Force them into collision environment group. Go ahead and remove those and we're going to pick those three there. Changes effect to all, instant shape, and I might as well do object particle in case they're removing. And then we'll hide them. Uh, same with the shooters. We want to change the effect to all. We want to track those, uh, ob those helpers so that we can actually keep an update of them. Uh, we don't need to instance their shape, I believe, but we'll see. And then we'll go ahead and create our next rule. Our next rule is going to be called shooting. And in shooting, what's going to happen is the shooters are going to shoot some bullets. Um, we're going to need to know which direction to go, so we're going to use a get direction helper. And we're going to go ahead and connect that alignment to the particles. It'll automatically get that particle's alignment. And of course we want to create some bullets. We're going to use a position born off those particles. Uh, let's go ahead and look at what direction to emit. We use the Y direction. And of course we want to emit bullets, so we'll just choose that. We'll go ahead and uh, specify a particle rate here. We're going to go ahead and use 10 for now. Uh, the speed that they come out, let's go ahead and make it nice and fast, 500. Let's put some variation on it. And very little direction variation. We want them to be fairly accurate. So there we see those bullets being born based on those uh, shooter particles. And then what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and create the interaction where when those bullets hit these collision environment, it creates a dust impact. Now this is a little bit special because, um, we'll call this make dust. It's a little bit special because in order to use um, the collision with between a non-shape and a shape particle, um, we're going to have to do this in a little bit of a special way. What we're going to do is we're going to say, okay, when the bullets, they're moving, we want to know when they intersect and hit the surface of any of these others, of these collision environments. We're going to use the intersect helper, and we're going to go ahead and connect the position, direction, and speed to the bullets. But then we're going to need some information from a node. Intersect wants to use a node. Um, so we're going to go ahead and drop a node in there. 
and we're going to go ahead and turn on groups as objects so that it's going to turn each of these groups into a single mesh object and that way we can uh, with our node selected here we can say pick and we can go ahead and pick that collision environment group and that'll just pick all those blue guys and treat them as one mesh so we can go ahead and connect that node now with intersect and then we'll go ahead and add another position born to create some dust a pistol shot per call Let's set their speed fairly high lots of variation um, decent amount of direction variation and what we want to do is actually expose the direction we're going to want to control the on with the hit of intersect whenever a bullet hits one of these this node surface it's going to create a hit value it's going to cause this pistol shot to be born that's a few too many there and then we're going to go ahead and use the position and the normal to control the direction so let's take a look okay so pretty pretty straightforward there